Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl AP and I'm back with another tutorial video this time, okay? And this um, tutorial I'm really excited about, okay? Today we are learning how to sublimate socks, okay? Socks are such a fashion commodity. Socks is a necessary that goes with your outfit, especially if you're a fashionista. You need the right socks. The prints, pictures, everything. So today we're learning how to sublimate socks. So if you wanna know how to sublimate socks, stay tuned. All right, let's get into, let's get into, I'm sorry, supplies. I'm so excited about this video. You're gonna need scissors, heat protectant tape, um, parchment paper, you know, these three things are key when sublimating. Um, oh, your measuring tape. I got this measuring tape from Michaels for about maybe $5. Love it. You're going to need this when you're sublimating socks uh, for exact measurements. You're going to need some kind of sock jigs. This is the sock jigs. So, you know, when we sublimate shirts, how we put the parchment paper in between the shirts um, so that the ink isn't bleeding to the other side of the um, shirt. Well, this is a sock jig. This plays as that same role as the parchment paper. We're going to use this to put inside our sock so that we are getting an even press on both sides. Okay. So, you're going to need sock jigs. And I got these sock jigs from Silky Socks, as well as the socks we're going to be sublimating today. I got these socks as well from um, Silky Socks. And once again, you can't just sublimate on any type of sock. You must be clear and be sure that your socks that you're sublimating on is um, a sublimation blank or polyester or some kind of blend of polyester and something else. But it has to be have some kind of polyester in it. These socks have a cotton feel. That's why I love them so much. Um, they are a large, because Silky Sock has sizes. So these are large. So preferably for men or a woman with big feet. Not me, but there's a lot out there. Um, and also, we're going to be sublimating the white. And I think I'm going to do both sides of each sock. But we're also going to play with sublimation on Dollar Tree socks, okay? So I've seen a couple of um, crafters in my groups or various groups, they've, they've sublimated on these socks and you wanna know why? It's a blend. It's a 50 cotton, 40% polyester blend. So the, the color may not pop as much as these socks, but I'm sure the color will still show. So let's just do a little experiment. Dollar Tree socks, silky socks. And I got the silky socks in a bundle. So I think I spent like $60 for a bundle. And I think it came with maybe like seven, eight socks. It's not a lot of socks or less maybe, maybe six socks. But I did get the socks, the, um, the sock jigs and the sock packets all for that price. So it worked out, okay? So let's get ready to design. All right, I hope you guys can see my screen. I'm just gonna try to zoom it in. I am the designing in a silhouette um, studio. That is a free um, app you can download to your phone, you can download to your desktop or laptop, and it allows you to, um, you know, play with design. It's the most easiest. I always tell people, silhouette studio is the most easiest design space when it comes to sublimation designs, okay? That's my personal preference. I'm sure other people will have something else to say, which is totally fine, right? Because everyone has their own thing. This is my thing, okay? So as you can see, um, I'm gonna be putting Kevin Durant on the silky socks, okay? And all I did was use my measuring tape. Like I told you, this is very key. And I just simply measured, okay? That's all I did. I simply measured across and I see it is about three feet, but we always wanna make sure our image is a little bit bigger um, to leave room for error. So just in case, if you didn't print, I'm sorry, just in case you didn't um, make the image large enough, because you added that ex those extra inches, it'll make up for it, okay? And then measure down for your height, and I did um, an even seven feet, and that gave me room um, as well for any um, mix-ups, okay? So like I said, I'm gonna be putting the Kevin Durant image on the silky socks. Now, I got this image from Google, guys. All you gotta do is Google your image that you want. If you have something in your mind, 
um, and you don't want to go through that whole design process, creating your own design, just go to Google. And remember, um, I'm just going to revert this back to show you something. So I'm just going to mirror it. I'm going to flip it back to how it initially came. So when I first put it up here, um, it was this way. But when you're pressing, you have to mirror. You cannot do sublimation without mirroring your image. It will not come out right. It will just look backwards, okay? So highlight your image, that whatever you're gonna use, and click mirror, flip horizontally. Excuse me. Okay, so that's all you wanna do. And I have four of the same exact photo because I am going to be putting one on each side, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'm gonna just put KD, so when we're ready to print. Okay, so it's saved. Now let's go to a new and let's do a design together. I, um, so for the Dollar Tree socks, I wanted to put something cute and bright let me take it out because I haven't measured these. I wanted to do the measurements along with you guys. Okay. So the Dollar Tree socks, um, they don't feel like the silky socks. The silky socks feel a little more durable. But, of course, it's a Dollar Tree socks, guys. Like I said, if you're new to sublimating, go to Dollar Tree for your blanks. They have a couple of blanks like the, um, the sequence pillows. Oh, I'm sorry. The sequence pillows. I put A boogie on one. Okay. Um, the canvas. Okay, I have a video of a pillowcase and now the socks. So if you're new to sublimation, go stop at Dollar Tree, girl. Stop spending all that money, honey. All right, so let's get into it. So these are the Dollar Tree socks and I'm about to figure out what image I want to put on these socks. So let's go. So here's my blank page. I hope you can see that really good. Let me try to move the camera a little closer. Okay, here's my blank page and... When you want to add an image to Silhouette Studio, you click File, Merge, and let's see what I'm going to use. These are cute. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do something like this. I like that. All right, so that's a cute image. It's just basically some, some ones that look like with wings, nice color, and I'm sure it's going to pop, okay? So let's use this image for the um, Dollar Tree side. All right, so I'm going to get my measuring tape and I'm going to measure the width. Let me turn it this way so you can see. I'm going to measure the width. So this looks like three inches precisely. So I'll do 3.2, just so we can leave a little room for, like I said, for um, pressing um, if the image is not, I'll do 3.3, okay? And then let's measure Sorry, I keep going on the camera. Let's measure the width. So I'm only gonna do the top part of the socks and it looked like it's precisely seven feet. So we're gonna do seven, seven point one. Okay? And that's just how I do things. I'm sure plenty of people have other ways they do socks, um, but this is the easiest way for me. And I'm self-taught. Like with a lot of my sublimation things, it's pretty much self-taught. So now that I have my image, I'm just gonna duplicate it. Okay, so because it's two, uh, and a pair is two, all right? So once I have these two, I'm gonna highlight them both. I'm going to mirror them. I'm gonna flip horizontally, and then I'm just gonna duplicate it. So it's like, um, can you see what my arrow, okay, yeah. It's like a, a two squares connected. So I'm just gonna duplicate, then I'm just gonna bring it down, and bam, okay? So there goes my um, image, all right? So I'm also gonna save this to get ready for printing. And I'm gonna save it as Nike, not Nike, excuse me, <laughs> Nike, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and print these images for you guys. And I'm gonna show you how well they printed because you know Cosmo ink is popping and we'll get ready for pressing. Hey guys, we're back. I just wanted to go ahead and print the images and pre-cut them out. So for the sake of time, I'm not gonna be pressing both sides of the sock. I'm just gonna pre press, excuse me, one side of the sock. So 
let's get started all right so i'm just going to position the camera in a way where you can see what i'm doing so as you all know um i set my heat press to 400 degrees for 60 seconds i already went ahead and placed the sock in the jig all you're doing i didn't i didn't feel the need to put that on the tutorial because literally all you're doing is sticking this jig inside of a sock it's very self-explanatory okay so when we're pressing socks being that this is something that I messed up on plenty of times and I had to learn. Like I told you, um, sublimation is all trial and error. This sock will be on the left foot, right? So I'm gonna make sure I put the picture right here on the outer part of the sock, okay? So, go ahead and lay your blank with your sock jig on your heat press while your heat press is heating up. Take your image, look how the image came out so good. I love it, okay? Take your image, so what I do first is that I like to lay my image flat even though we press um paper side up i like to lay my image flat first and kind of see if the whole the sock area that i want is being covered okay so i'm gonna show you what i mean so we want to make sure we get it to the top brim of the sock because we want to make sure everything's being pressed okay like that like so and i can see that my my picture is aligned exactly where i need it so once you get it aligned to where you want it, go ahead and get your heat tape. Shucks, where's my tape? Um, where did I put my tape? I just got the tape. Oh, there it is. Go ahead and get your heat tape. Um, cut off a couple of pieces to secure the image on the side. Right. So I'm going to place a piece at the top. Okay, so that holds the top in. Okay. And I'm going to place a piece at the bottom. So, socks can be tricky in the size. I'm sorry, I should have said that too. In the size. Socks can be tricky, um, but I'm sure these are going to come out great. I'm sure. You can't go wrong with Cosmos Inc. and Silky Socks. So, from what I've, from my experience, I made a couple pair of LeBron socks using Silky Socks before, and some other cute ones, and they all were Silky Socks. So, don't forget to check out Silky Socks for your um, sublimation socks, okay? All right, so I got my image taped on. Wait. See, I messed up again. This will be the right sock, okay, because Anna messed up. Okay, but anyway, I didn't really mess up. We're just going to do the right sock first, okay? So this will be going on the right foot, okay? So this will part be inside where nobody see. The image will be showing, okay? So I went ahead and I did that. I can actually go ahead and press both together. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the right side. Okay, so you wanna try your best to make sure your socks are aligned the same. Um, that can be a task in itself. But just go ahead and make sure your socks are aligned the same. Get that heat tape going because this stuff is liquid gold well no it's not liquid <laughs> it's it's the it's the gold of all tapes especially when you um supplementing now it doesn't matter what brand of heat protecting tape you got because i think i've ordered a couple of different brands and they all serve the purpose and the purpose is to keep the image down while pressing okay so like you did the other sock do the same thing for the other sock sides and the top okay make sure you got it exactly where you want it and my press is heated up to 400 degrees for 60 seconds 
And like in all of my other videos, I always leave the press an additional like 10 seconds just to make sure those colors aren't popping. All right. So I got both socks ready for pressing, okay? They look like they're evenly aligned for the most part. So that's a plus. But like I said, sublimation is all about trial and error. Don't forget to lay your parchment paper at the bottom and parchment paper at the top. And we all know what this is for. It prevents any burning on your um, blanks or images, okay? So my press is heating up. I'm, I'm waiting for it to get to 400 degrees. As soon as it gets to 400 degrees, we will begin the pressing on these KD socks, okay? So um, let's go over a couple of things when sublimating socks while we wait for the press. You're going to need not just any kind of sock. You're going to need some kind of sock. Hey guys, I didn't realize my video cut off when I was telling you about sublimation socks. These darn iPhones, I apologize, but let's get back into it. You're definitely gonna need some kind of sublimation sock. Um, I prefer silky socks, just go to your website. Just go to your website and click so, um, there's, um, silkysocks.com and click their sublimation socks. Their socks are great. Um, I've done a couple for customers. Um, I will definitely say if you're gonna sell your sublimation socks, use silky socks, okay? You won't be disappointed. Now, if you're practicing, you want to use Dollar Tree socks, okay? And now, and if you're making a gift for yourself or for a close friend or family member, definitely get those Dollar Tree socks, okay? Um, we're going to see how they sublimate today, right after I show you these new, um, these Kevin Durant socks we just did. So I went ahead, because my camera cut off, I'm so sorry, but I went ahead and start pressing the socks at um, 400 degrees for 60 seconds, okay? So the, my timer just went off. I'm going to see how they came out. All right. Now, when you first take anything off the heat press, it's going to be extremely hot. Okay. So let's see. Be very careful. You don't want any getting burns. But let's see how these socks came out. Wow. Every time I pull the tape back off of um, my blinks, I'll be like, wow. Because this Cosmo ink. It's like legit the truth. Like, look at the sock, y'all. <laughs> nah, this is fire. Oh my God. I love, I live and I love, okay? I'm gonna pull back um, the what? The other pair. I mean, other sock. I'm sorry, not pair. Whew, child. I'm just so hyped. Wow. Look at that. Oh my God, they came out really, really well. Okay, Cosmos Inks, ASAP Paper, um, Silky Socks. Okay, 400 degrees, 60 seconds. I also got the sock jig, Silky Socks, okay? So this is the, um, the Silky Socks. Now let's get into those Dollar Tree Socks. Be right back. Okay, so I got the Dollar Tree Socks set up. Sock jig inside the Dollar Tree Socks image tape down on the socks and we're going to press it at the same temperature 400 degrees for 60 seconds okay and we're going to compare the color quality on the dollar tree socks compare um to the um silky socks and silky socks are 100 percent polyester these socks i believe are let me see and let me show you the these socks are 50 um, cotton, 40 polyester. And this is the packaging. It says diabetic socks, Lord. But we're going to see how these things press. And I told you these are good for practicing. And just if you want to make yourself some personal socks or a gift for a friend. But I wouldn't suggest to sell because we want the highest amount of polyester count for your colors to pop. Okay? So let's go ahead and set up our Teflon, I mean our parchment paper on top of our image so we're not burning. Okay, we're at 340, so we'll be ready to press in no time. I'm excited to see, I'm actually really excited to see how well um, these socks press, okay? And like I said, this is the perfect practice blank. Dollar Tree has a number of practice blanks, guys. Believe it or not, for a freaking dollar. You can't go wrong, especially 
when you want to practice. Let me put my face up here. Sorry. All right, so I'm pressing the Dollar Tree socks. 400 degrees, 60 seconds. Um, so let's see. My video keep cutting off y'all because I don't got no space on my phone. I gotta delete some apps and pictures. I gotta go through this. Or some videos. I know I got time for those. All right, timer went off. You know, I always let it sit extra 10. That's so, sort of, especially on these because they're not a high count of polyester. So let's see. All right, the moment of truce. On Dollar Tree socks, people. Let's see. Okay, for the most part, they look like they popping. Let's see, let's see. All right, I always cut off my heat press when I'm done. We don't want no mishaps. Okay, so like I said, the image isn't as popping as silky socks. And we're gonna do side by side to compare before we end this video. Okay, it's not as popping because it's a higher count of cotton than polyester. So, so as you can see, this is the, the sublimation on a Dollar Tree sock. Not too bad, still pretty. You can still see those colors, okay? This is the other one, nice, still popping. But let's um, do a side-by-side -side of the silky sock so you can see how important it is um, to have sublimation blanks and polyester blanks when sub, okay? So look how vivid the colors are with the Kevin Durant sock. And this is silky sock, 100% polyester, Cosmos ink. This is 40% polyester's Cosmos ink. And like I said, the polyester count is low. So the colors doesn't pop as well, okay? But both look pretty good. Both look pretty darn good if you ask me, okay? So if you like the content that I'm pushing out to you guys, please make sure you subscribe. All you gotta do is hit that um, little bell button. Support is free, guys, okay? Like I said, I'm the newbie for the newbies, and I got y'all. Later.